In our last video, we had a very comprehensive discussion about whether or not to drop a product line or a particular segment of your company. We looked at an example of a company that made cars and they made trucks. And so I just want to give you a shortcut formula that will tell you whether or not it's a good idea to drop a particular division, in this case, for example, trucks. Right? We look and we see, hey, the overall firm profit is 10000 but we've actually got negative 10,000. We've got a loss from, from this truck division. And so we're trying to figure out, should we drop that truck division? So here's a good rule of thumb. If you use this formula right here, that'll tell you whether or not you should drop this division. So you want to look at the contribution margin lost if you were to get rid of the division, which in this case will be $60,000, right? That's the sales minus the variable cost of the truck division. So that would be... 60,000 and we'll put, we'll put that a negative number because now it's going to be lost right now you're going to subtract out any fixed costs that you avoid now stuff that you're not going to have to incur because of the truck division right we've already dealt with with the contribution margin that netted out the variable cost so we don't have to worry about that but we had some fixed costs we had salaries and then we had the building rent now let's just assume that this this 50000 here of salaries, that is avoidable. Let's just say that was the salar uh, salary of the truck uh, factory manager. And so when we get rid of the truck division, that uh, this 50000 goes away because that person could be fired, right? It's a heartless, but it's that, that's what happens. So now we got building rent, right? So let's say that that building rent is 40000 It's a long-term lease. We can't get out of that. Even if we get rid of this truck division, this 20000 doesn't go away. It stays, right? And so basically, this is not avoidable. This is not avoidable. So really, the only fixed cost that is avoidable is this 50000 right here, right? So that 50000 is avoidable. So then we will subtract... Let me change colors here. So we'll subtract 50000 of fixed costs that are avoided, right? And if, if we're subtracting this, it's the same as adding. If we're subtracting a negative number, it's the same as adding. So basically, we want to net these two together. It doesn't really matter how you do it, but basically you can see clearly that we're going to have, actually, we lost more contribution margin than we gained in terms of these fixed costs. So we have negative 10000 Right, so we had negative, so we lost sixty thousand dollars by giving up this contribution margin, but we gained. And this negative, subtracting a negative is the same as adding something, so we gained fifty thousand by avoiding the fixed cost. So when we net that, right, this fifty thousand we gained, when we net that with the sixty thousand we lost overall by getting rid of this truck division, we lost ten thousand dollars as a firm, right. So the change in the firm's total profit, which is all that really matters at the end of the day, right? The change in the firm's total profit would be that it would go down $10,000. Now you can verify this. Let's, we'll just say here, here's a new total without the truck division, without trucks. I just want to you know, prove to you that this is the case. So now, because we don't have any of this anymore, we just have this, right? So we have... 200,000 in sales minus 110,000 variable cost. That gives us contribution or subtotal here of 90,000. Now we got rid of that 50,000 of the salaries. Half the salaries are gone. So now the salaries total for the firm is just 50,000, but we still have 40,000 in building rent. Right? See this 40000 We were splitting it up before because we thought, hey, it's fair. We'll give half to the cars, half to the trucks. But we get rid of the trucks, we still have to pay the full 40000 in rent. Right? So now we go and say, okay, what is our new total, our new profit total? Well, this 90000 minus 50 minus 40 gives us a profit total of zero. So we went from our total firm profit initially was 10000 and we went to zero. So that's a decrease of $10,000, which is what we calculated here, right? We, we just take the contribution margin that we're giving up, 60,000, and then we account for the benefit that we're avoiding some fixed costs. We net that together, and that tells us the, the net change in the firm's total profit.